The man who wears the yellow fedora and trench coat will continue to fight crime, but the man who writes and illustrates the drama in the Dick Tracy comic strip is retiring. Dick Tracy has traveled from the pen of Naperville's own Dick Loker to the eyes of six million daily readers for more than 30 years. And NCTV 17's Holly Roadruck sat down with Loker to find out what he plans on doing after the last strip is drawn. As Dick Loker adds the finishing touches, some of his favorite memories come rushing back. 32 years of writing and drawing Dick Tracy was a real kick. We had a good ride. We dodged some bullets and we dodged the bad guy and caught him. In 1957, Loker began assisting Chester Gould, the creator of Dick Tracy. And later in 1983, Loker became the main artist for the strip. In Dick Tracy, I always made sure that if somebody read Wednesday's comic strip, that it was enough interest and suspense that he would buy Thursday's paper. Even though Loker's retiring, Dick Tracy's not handing in his badge just yet. Four illustrators and writers will take on the strip. But for now, the only questions that fans are asking is what Loker's going to do next. I want to get back into, into different things. I like to write. My main hobby is casting in bronze. I love to cast bronze. I like to go out and, and do watercolors in the West. That would be fun. From fine arts to continuing on his Pulitzer Prize winning political cartoons, Loker will still have a lot on his mind and on the drawing board but he will always have the memories of creating Dick Tracy in his heart. I hope tomorrow your delivery of Dick Tracy on your doorstep is just as good as it always was. That would be my wish for you. I'm Holly Rodrock for Neighborville News 17. Dick Loker plans to display his work this October in the new Tracy Gallery at the Naperville Township Building. Loker hopes to open the gallery with a kickoff party to celebrate Dick Tracy's 80th birthday.